Did you ask her what gift she would like? Yes. Here's the list. Oh, good. Oh, thank you very much. Brian is a perfect kind of piece of casting for Mr. Bojagi, I think. He's he's as mad as a hatter, and uh, Mr. Bojagi's as mad as a hatter, so I think they fit together. But, but wisdom underneath all the madness. It really would be difficult, I think, to uh, to imagine the film now without Brian in, in that lead role, and, and equally without Hildegard as the woman. And who will the gift be for? It's my granddaughter's birthday. Jessica. Jess. Giving a gift is very important. I mean, you have to accept it. If somebody gives you a gift, you must accept it. It's very difficult to give your, your son or your uh, daughter the right gift. The generation gap starts to take place. It seemed a, a wonderful idea to wrap this up into a, a, a gift shop and somebody trying to give the right present or indeed not understanding this concept at all and having to learn. I, I love somebody at that age learning something new. And have you ever got her a gift that she has requested? Of course. I see. Right. Is a very charming taskmaster, so he doesn't let you. He doesn't let you off the hook. At times, I get the feeling with him that he runs a tightrope. You know that he has. To, it's it's very delicate playing with people's emotions and so forth. You could easily damage them, but he has such love and compassion and wisdom. He's able to um, avoid that. But he, it's a responsibility, a hell of a responsibility to take on. We're very different. Brian is a complete madman, you know, um, and I am the soul of discretion and self-effacing. And these two parts kind of fitted with our relationship in ordinary life really very well indeed. Yeah! I think coming down the ladder is lovely. I just think that's wonderful. And of course, it gives me the chance that I use completely, and that's to tease my wife, as Hildegard Neal, to do noises. I, I love in acting if you can get the chance, not, not out of stupidity or effect, but can make, make noises. Oh, ah. Uh. And of course, the woman is very sophisticated. Very, she's very top story, she's very intellectual. So to give her noises that a, a child would use uh, 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 totally perplexes her. You can get very excited about having famous actors and actresses in your film, but at the end of the day, it's actually got nothing to do with the fact that they're well known. That means nothing. What matters is they're well known because of how good they are. It was, it was a joy to do and a joy to view in the end. I'm really proud of it. I think that it's a, a lovely and it's a near as damn it perfect piece of work. If it's good, if the script's good and it's well directed, it takes on a life of its own. I just think it's a marvellous bloody film. A terribly good film. I just think it's the most exciting short film I've done. I've done about six or seven short films and always not satisfied. But Jaggi, I feel, I came away feeling I'd grown and feeling wonderful and something had taken place. <laughs>